Welcome to Data Demystified. I'm Jeff Gallick, and this is my series of tutorial videos on how to use SPSS to work with data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct and interpret a one-sample t-test where you compare the mean of a variable to a fixed value. As always, we'll be using the YouTube Viewing Habits survey that I created, and you can find both a link to the data file and a video tutorial of the data below. What the one-sample t-test lets us do is compare the mean of any variable to a fixed value. This is often useful when we're using a scale that has a midpoint, and we want to know if the average value of a response is below or above that midpoint value. So for example, if we take a look at one of our variables, so let's just look at variable view here. If we look at some of these questions like importance questions, they're actually all completed on these five item scales from one to five, one being not at all important, two being slightly important, and so on. And it might be worth noting if people respond above or below the midpoint, which is three. So to know that, we can complete a one sample t-test, to do that, we go to Analyze, Compare Means, One Sample T-Test, and we can take whatever variables we want and include them in our analysis. So for now, what I'll do is I'll actually take all of these questions about importance and I'll add them over here. What's important is to change this test value right here. That's actually what we're going to be comparing to. So unlike other t-tests where we might be comparing against variables or might be against different people or groups of people, here we're comparing against a specific fixed value. Since I know that the midpoint of the scale is three, I will change this to the number three. There's really nothing else for us to do, so we can click OK and see what happens. The first table that we get here is actually just a description of the means of each of our variables. The first thing we note, by the way, is that we have complete data, a thousand responses for all of our variables. Here are the various means. We also have the standard deviations and the standard errors, which can be quite useful. And our t-tests are actually all down here. Right away, I can see that almost all of our variables are significantly different from three. In fact, the only one that isn't different than three is this very first one right here, who is the content creator. If we pop back up to our means, we see that the mean for that one was 2.94, which we cannot say is statistically different from three, so we can't reject that null hypothesis. And we know that because this value right here, this p-value, is above 0.05, our conventional level for rejecting null hypotheses. All of the other values, however, we can reject the null hypothesis, which is that those values equal three, and so we can say that they differ. So for instance, if we pop back up here, we see this question of whether someone recommended the video is a 2.27, which is significantly less than three, or below the midpoint of our scale. The last things worth pointing out are that we have this mean difference column right here. This is how far away that value, the mean value, was from our test value three, which is denoted here. And the last thing we have is the 95% confidence interval for that difference meaning this difference right here of 0.063%, 95% confidence interval includes zero, we see that, negative 1.4, an upper value of 0.02, zero is inclusive of that, which actually tells us pretty strongly that we're gonna not be able to reject the null hypothesis. For other ones, for instance here, the difference from three is a whopping 1.485 points, and the 95% confidence interval is denoted here. That's really it for one sample t-test, but this is a good place for you to stop and pause the video and try this for yourself. In particular, why don't you go ahead and try this with the big five inventory questions. So we've got these items right down here. They're all measured on this seven point scale with four being neither agree nor disagree. So let's make that our comparison point. So what I'd like you to do is run all of these values against four using a one sample t-test. Go ahead and pause the video now and give that a try. So hopefully you've gone ahead and done that, and I'm going to do it as well. So analyze, compare means, one sample t-test. I'll remove all the things from before, and then instead I will add the items from my big five personality inventory. I include all 15 of those items in the test variables box, and I change my test value to four because that was my midpoint of the scale. I click OK, and I see, again, here are all my outputs. These are all the averages, and note that, again, we have full data. Everybody responded to all these questions. And most of these are significantly different from zero, except for these two items right here. And again, we know that because our significance level is above 0.05, so we cannot reject that null hypothesis. One sample t-tests are a great way to quickly and easily compare the average value of a variable to some fixed point like we've done here. That's it for this video. I hope you found this useful, and if you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll be sure to reply as quickly as I can. Aside from these tutorials, I'm on a mission to equip everyone with the information they need to thrive in our data-rich world. If you'd like to learn not just the mechanics of analysis, which these video tutorials focus on, but also learn the intuition behind the analysis you're performing, I strongly suggest you check out the other intuition-focused videos on this channel where I take the jargon out of statistics and data science and help you build a deep, intuitive understanding behind all the analysis that you're performing. 
I'll put a link below to a playlist of the videos that focus on just this. Finally, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and click that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new content that I put out. Thanks for watching.